So in this video I am going to run through how to import an AutoCAD block, extract point information from that AutoCAD drawing, uh, create a surface and the new bit in this particular video is to include break lines that haven't been already drawn in the surface. So we're going to start off by opening up um, our AutoCAD block that was created from before. So we're going to go to insert uh, we're going to go insert block. Now I'm just going to have to go browsing for where I've saved mine. I've called it GRPA block. Double click on that. And I'm selecting the option to explode here. If I don't do that, I'll have to explode it later on. So I'm just going to accept the option to explode here and go OK. When it asks me for an insertion point, if you want to maintain the same coordinate system as you had on the original AutoCAD drawing, your insertion point should be 0, 0, 0 and enter. You may not see anything happening on the screen, so we need to go to Zoom Extents, and we now have all the point information. First thing we need to do is to create points based on that AutoCAD drawing. So we need to come over to Points, Create, and on our drop-down menu, Convert AutoCAD Points. Command line is asking us to select them, so we can draw a box over the entire screen or the entire set of objects and press enter and we need to just hold down the enter key until all of the points have been created I think there's about 150 in this drawing here so I'm just holding down the enter key um, and when all these little yellow X's disappear the points have been created so I'm just going to close down that toolbar and you can see here now on the bottom left hand side we've got all the point numbers and the easting and northing and elevation uh, details for them. Now what we want to do at this stage is we want to introduce a break line. If I scroll in here for a second you'll see that one of the codes for the uh, points is T bank, top of bank and we also have a code out here for B bank, pot bottom of bank. So on this particular survey the left hand border of the site is a river. The top of the bank was surveyed and the bottom of the bank which is the edge of the river was also surveyed. I want to make a break line at the top of the bank so what I'm going to do is draw on a polyline that I can use later on to create the break line. So it's a three-dimensional polyline as opposed to a regular PL. So on your command line type in 3D POLY and press enter. Make sure your object snaps are set to node and we want to basically join the dots. So we're going to draw a polyline between the tops of the banks all the way up the edge of our particular survey. Now I haven't gone into looking at what layer that I'm drawing this polyline on uh, is or anything like that. Uh, maybe that's something you want to be a little bit more careful about than I am. All I want to do here is just get a 3D polyline on here that I can use to control the contours. Okay now when that's drawn you can just press the escape key uh, that will remain on the drawing like that. OK, so we need to create a surface next. So we're going to come over to Surfaces, do a left click and a right click on it, create the surface. Uh, I'm not too worried about the surface name. I'll just take the next ID that comes up. So go OK. And here we have Surface 1. And I want to define that using a point group, All Points, and Apply, and OK. And now I can see some of the basic information that's coming in here. What I want to do is change the display of the surface style so that I can see triangles. So click on any contour and come up to surface properties and change the surface style to contours and triangles and go OK. And here we have the uh, drawing now at this stage. Now it looks like it has already broken the contours at the top of bank line so it's automatically done that for us which is which is great. Um, if it didn't do that here's how you add the break line. You select the surface, come over to the break lines option on the prospector, do a right click and go add. We can call it anything, I'm going to just going to call it T bank for top of bank. The type is going to be proximity and go OK and then in your drawing select the three-dimensional polyline that you drew uh, a few moments ago and press enter 
and the triangles will update. Now it actually looks like in this particular drawing that it has already broken the contours along that polyline because I had it drawn before I made the surface. If you draw the surface first and then later draw in the three dimensional polyline, you will have to come over here to break lines, do a right click and go add and select that polyline. It looks like because I had the polyline drawn first before the surface that the surface has actually drawn the way that I want it to be drawn. A couple of things about this particular drawing here, you can see that I've got triangles going outside the stone wall going out to the road center line. So I need to remove those road center line points from my surface. I don't want my contours going out across the stone wall. So what I need to do is to remove points from the surface. I can only remove points from the surface if the surface is displaying points. So click on the surface, come up to surface properties and under display surface style, we need to find one that says uh, points. Uh, there isn't one that says points there, so we'll stick with contours and triangles. And maybe what we'll do is edit that type and make sure that the points are turned on. And go OK and go OK. And when we come back now, we can see that the points are actually uh, nice and easily to see there. OK, so now that they're visible, we can remove them from the surface. So click on the surface, come up to edit surface up here, and we want to delete a point. So if I want to get rid of that point there for the road center, just click on it. If I want to get rid of this one, I just click on it. When I have them selected, I'm going to press enter and they're now removed from the surface. Now I need to do the same for all of the points that are out along the road center line. So you're just going to have to bear with me for a second while I do that. So as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm selecting them all uh, in one operation and then I can delete them all uh, with a single press of the button as opposed to deleting them all uh, one by one. So they're all selected now and I press enter and they're gone. So straight away now my contours are contained inside the stone wall which is what I would expect them to be. So I'm just tapping the escape key to um, finish out that command just for the moment. Now let me have a look and see. OK, so there's another thing up here which is going on that the boundary of the site is along this hedge line here uh, where you can see the points are called two meter hedge center line. So I've got a number of triangles here that are actually outside the area that was surveyed. So I need to get rid of those. So I'm just going to click on the surface and I'm going to come up to edit the surface and I'm going to select delete line and I'm just going to select the lines that I want to delete. One, two, three, four and press enter and my green boundary resolves itself to uh, reflect the fact that those contours are no, ne no longer needed out in that area. OK, so just a quick recap there. I introduced a block that was generated from AutoCAD. I created points based on it, and then I created a surface. But before I created a surface, I had a three-dimensional polyline drawn up along the top of the bank, which then became a break line. If I hadn't drawn that three-dimensional polyline first, if I had created the surface first, I could add it to the surface later. So it just so happened that the way I did it there actually worked in one step. Um, just to make this a little bit tidier, I don't really want to be seeing triangles on my finished product, so I'm going to select the surface, and I'm going to go to Surface Properties and change the uh, style to, we'll say, a 1 meter and a 5 meter contour. and go OK, and it looks a little bit cleaner now.